Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, April 10th, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Woo! It's the one year anniversary of my horoscope. So thank you guys so much. Uh, this is like a huge moment for me that, you know, and this is actually a huge moment in our all of our own individual lives. I mean, this is the most powerful, beautiful new moon energy in Aries with the sun. We have Mars, we have Venus, we have the moon all in the same tight spot. So the moon is gonna touch this heavy personal place in our lives today. But more importantly, Uranus is here, remember. So this is this power punch energy of extreme new innovation of self, extreme new freedom to go in the direction in your life that you want to, a new dawning in your life, baby. This is not a Twilight movie. It is actually a real movie of your life, of the new dawn. You are exactly where you must be in your life right now. If you are happy and amazing, this is a lot of the new self that you have been ready for. For those that are not in a very good place, this is the new dawn to get you into the new place. You must see that the new self must be born and the dawn of this self is here. You know, one of my favorite books is Bringers of the Dawn. I really intend, I really ask you to go read that book if you get a moment or look for it on, uh, you know, online. But this is the coming of the new selves and a very deep connection with Bringers of the Dawn, I'd say. I'm gonna be wide open since this is a new year for me and my horoscopes, but I definitely spiritually channel for a living and I channel from a very high place and yes, I would say that it comes from that star system out there in Taurus, the Pleiades, I really would. But I'm here to tell you that we are all being called up to service of the new self, the destiny in our lives is here. You know, with Pluto going retrograde in the next couple days, we just need to allow this new self to really let the destiny take over, the new relationships, the new direction, the new road, this new dawn. So wherever you're at in your life, you got to keep an open mind. Your mind will screw you right now. As we step into this new dawn, it doesn't matter what's happened. All the signs are very clear that the universe has your back. You made it here, right? You made it to today. You are being supported. But more importantly, you are ready to go off into the direction with the signs of the true essence of who you are to make sure you load yourself in this reality and the greatest and most amazing person ever taking the glasses off for this because the new self is for you to make the most of this self, for you to have a clearer mind than you've ever had, but more importantly, to create your truest desires of all time. With Saturn and Scorpio, this is cutting away deep into yourself, down to the bone, and literally the bone with Pluto and Capricorn, right? This is us going so deep and so intense in the leaving behind of so much of the old paradigm, but more importantly, all of your old past lives, all of your old selves that you've been, all of the old past of the life you've lived up until April 10th of 2013, this is the explosion that you can take your life in the direction you've always wanted it to be. And it's important for you to really realize that it is through your deep desires and it is through you becoming courageous enough to step forward into this new self. The only thing that is holding you back right now at this point in this juncture of the astrology, of the energies outside of just astrology, of the spiritual channel that I'm here to channel, is your own self. It does take the, your own courage. It does take, you know, doing a horoscope for one year. I think, you know, I can be a good example to you to see that I have done this horoscope for one year straight and I have only missed two days. And one of them was actually this weekend because I DJ'd and I was in no shape to do the horoscope. I thought about doing it outside of the club but I was like, I don't know about this. Well, the story here is that it's within yourself that you can make whatever you want happen, that you can become the person you've always wanted to be. And this dawning is that period for you to send off. Remember, this is a new moon, so meditate more than you've ever meditated in your life today. And whatever happens, you will remember for the rest of your life on April 10th, 2013. A new moon with this much power, with Mars and Venus, the, the energy of the lovers, right? The man, the female coming together, the sun, the bright god, goddess energy of light and love to light up this loving energy for you to radically accept the new self 
and to step forward into it and to break free of the old structure, but to come into the new, indiv the new individual, the new radical, exciting self. So excite yourself today. Emotionally go for what you need. Emotionally find strength in yourself to move forward in the direction you must go in your life. And have a clear open mind. Open the mind. The moon's gonna tap into all these planets to, as we step into a new moon, it's right away, boom, on Venus, boom, right on Mars, boom, right, right all on, it's just like, bam, bam, bam. This is gonna be a day where it's like, whoa, boom, boom, boom. It's a lot like, uh, I don't know, like a pinball machine in a good way when you like hit the ball in the right hole and it goes, bing, 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 and everything like hits. Hit it, baby, hit it. Hit it in yourself. You can hit it too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, you know, thank you guys for the last year and thank you for trusting in me and uh, listening to these horoscopes every day. And we're here. You know, we're here. This is it. The only test in your life is whether or not you got the balls or if you've got the ovaries to make it happen. That's it. And for those that are very sensitive, remember our mind is in a sensitive place, but for those that are sensitive, this is where the courage and the fire and the strength gets you going. And remember, fire in astrology is the spark that beats that heartbeat, that keeps it going the passion that keeps that brain alive and that pineal gland ready to go. The strength that moves your body, the legs to go where you need to go. If you don't have that, then you're not going anywhere in this life. And we are made from ether, and ether is this magical, beautiful compound which needs that fire to get there. That's the closest thing is the fire to our real soul. So, I ask you to light it up in your own life. If there's a problem, light that shit on fire and move out of that. And that's what will get you through right now. And that's really what the universe wants to show you, that there's a new dawn, it's a new day, and to take it on the right adventure of your life. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. I have my big sale going. Discount code is anniversary. And if you've been an existing customer, I'm just going to give the discount code out. It is I love you. Those are for people, if you've bought a reading with me, you can get a bigger discount. But for those that are new, I've got a huge discount, which is anniversary. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and remember to meditate tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.